The State Highway Patrol is looking for a few good men and women to join the agency. News 13's Evan Donovan joins us live this morning from Henderson County. And Evan, they are recruiting this weekend. Yeah, they sure are. In fact, uh, we are at the Western Justice Academy. This is a training center for a lot of law enforcement agencies across Western North Carolina. And uh, the Highway Patrol is in a big hiring stage right now. I want to bring in Master Trooper Jason Metcalf, who's going to tell us a little bit about that. Now, we were just talking earlier. The the Highway Patrol has about 1,400 positions statewide for Road Patrol troopers. And out of those, we're about 200 short. Is that right? Yes, sir. That's correct. And uh, so tell me, you know, what positions we're looking to hire and how many and, uh, and, and why it's a good reason to become a trooper. We're looking to hire probably 80 to 90 people in this next basic school. Um, we need troopers. A lot of times there's only one trooper covering a county. Um, and, and, you know, in terms of becoming a trooper, uh, there are a lot of great reasons to do it. It's a prestigious uh, law enforcement agency in the state. We were just talking about some of the requirements uh, and, and why it's good to become a trooper. Uh, your, your requirements are more stringent than, you know, a lot of local law enforcement agencies. They are. Um, we require you to be 21 years of age, up to 39. You can't turn 40 before the first step basic school. Um, you got to be a U.S. citizen, got to be a resident in North Carolina upon the first day of basic school. Uh, the vision requirements, you have to have at least 2100 vision, and it's got to be corrected to 2020. You have to have a high school diploma or GED. Um, you cannot have committed any felonies. Um, you cannot have any serious misdemeanors such as DUI, uh, revoked driver's license within about the past five years. Okay. Well, there's a lot of great reasons to become a trooper. We're going to go over some of them and what applicants need to know coming up in the next half hour. Also want to let you know that the next two Saturdays, there are, is a recruitment drive at the Reynolds Fire Department in Asheville uh, that's going to be taking place where they'll tell you even more about how to become a trooper. So stay tuned in our next half hour. For now, reporting from the Western Justice Academy, I'm Evan Donovan, News 13. News 13's Evan Donovan joins us live this morning from Henderson County. So, Evan, now we need to find out what it takes. Yeah, that's right. We want to find out what it takes, but also what it gives. So I uh, wanted to ask Master Trooper Jason Matcalf here, what's one of the reasons why the State Highway Patrol is short and is hiring right now? We generally lose eight to nine troopers per month due to retirements. Okay, so we've had some retirements lately. That's led to about 11 positions short in Western North Carolina. And we've also got about 15 more coming up in the next year and a half because of retirement. So a big, uh, a big hiring stage going on right now uh, for the Highway Patrol. Now, tell us a little bit about what it takes. We were talking earlier about the, uh, the tests that you take and what it takes for you to, uh, to become a Highway Patrol trooper. Tell us, tell, we'll talk a little bit about that. Um. You have to be in good physical shape. Um, you got to be between the ages of 21 and 39. You can't be 40 years old upon the first day of basic school. Um, you have to have good vision. You have to have at least 2100 vision, and it's got to be corrected to 2020. You have to have high school diploma or GED. Uh, no, no felonies, no serious misdemeanors within the last five years. Um, you have to be a citizen of the United States, and upon the first day of basic school, you have to be a resident in North Carolina. And let's talk about those physical tests. They're pretty stringent, actually. You have to do uh, the, hit the Cooper standards, which means you have to run a mile and a half within 12 minutes, and then you've got to do at least 27 push-ups and about 40 sit-ups within a minute for you to be able to, to uh, become a trooper. Uh, isn't that correct? That's correct, Evan. And that's just the 50% mark. Um, you need to aim higher. Than, don't go in trying to do the 50%. Go in and try and do as many as you can because it is basically a job interview when you're for your physical assessment. Sure, absolutely. And coming up the next two Saturdays at the Reynolds Fire Department, they're having informational sessions starting at noon, so stay tuned for that. In the next half hour, we're going to take a ride around with Trooper Metcalf in his, uh, in his uh, brand new charger. So stay with us. For now, reporting in the Western Justice Academy, I'm Evan Donovan, News 13. News 13's Evan Donovan joins us live this morning ahead of a weekend recruitment fair. And Evan, what do applicants need to know? 
Well, there's quite a bit they need to know, actually. We are live inside the Dodge Charger, 2013 Dodge Charger, of Master Trooper Jason Metcalf, who's behind the wheel right now. And I want to switch to Trooper mode so it's a little bit easier for him to see outside that front window. And Trooper Metcalf, we were just talking a few minutes ago. The Highway Patrol is short about 200 positions statewide, and that includes about 25 positions in western North Carolina due to retirements. Talk about what the salary is like for prospective applicants who want to become Highway Patrol Troopers. Upon your first day of basic school, you'll get $34,000 per year. Um, for 30 weeks, that's going to be your pay. As soon as you graduate, you get a 5% increase of $35,700. Uh, top pay for a trooper right now is roughly $57,000 per year. Uh, if you work night shift, uh, holidays, stuff like that, you're going to get about $4,000 more dollars per year on top of that. And so that, that gets to be your max pay and you work that for about 30 years and then you can retire with a really great pension. Tell us about that. You, we got 103% retirement. We got one of the best retirements in the United States. So you start out at let's say 21 years old. That's the earliest you could become a trooper. You can work for 30 years and uh, make up to 57,000 plus some extras for nights and weekends and holidays and uh, end up retiring at that point making 103% of that salary for the remainder of your life. That's correct. Well, excellent. Now, you guys are sort of professional drivers out here on the road. I mean, how do you train to become such good drivers when you start in the academy? During the academy, we have two weeks of driver training, and then we have end services uh, about every other year on driving. Okay. Well, excellent. Well, coming up in the next half hour, we're going to tell you a little bit more about what you can expect from uh, trying to become a trooper. There are two informational sessions going on at the Reynolds Fire Department over the next two Saturdays starting at noon. So check those out if you're interested in uh, a career in law enforcement with the North Carolina State Highway Patrol. For now, reporting from somewhere on 64 going west towards Hendersonville, I'm Evan Donovan, News 13. The North Carolina Highway Patrol is hiring. It's trying to fill more than 200 vacancies across the state. And joining us live again this morning with how you can apply is News 13's Evan Donovan. And Evan, we need to know what it takes. Yeah, you certainly do. Well, we're outside the Western Justice Training Academy. This is a law enforcement training center for a, a bunch of different law enforcement agencies, including the, the State Highway Patrol. And they are hiring, filling about 200 positions statewide, including 25 in Western North Carolina. Well, we're here with Master Trooper Jason Metcalf. And you all know what it's like to see, most of you know, what it's like to see these lights in your rearview mirror. But we wanted to take you through what it's like for a trooper as he's approaching your car when he pulls you over during a traffic stop. So, uh, Trooper Metcalf, I'll let you get back there. I'm going to get in the driver's seat here. And Okay, whenever I first come up to a car, I want to kind of look in the car and make sure nobody's really moving around um, once I feel safe in approaching. I'm going to want to see both of the driver's hands. I don't usually come past the... Uh, the back seat, especially if there's somebody in the back seat, I'm not going to come all the way up till I can see everybody's hands in the car till I feel comfortable. And why but did you say you put your hands on the trunk there? I want to leave my fingerprints on the car just in case something was to happen. The driver drives off, uh, maybe I get injured. That way, I've got proof that I was there. That actually marks the car. And what is what are some things that drivers can do to make your job easier when you when they do get pulled over? Uh, the best thing for drivers to do is kind of put their hands up on the steering wheel or the dashboard where I can see. Uh, maybe if it's dark at night time, go ahead and flip the overhead interior light on. That way I feel more comfortable walking up. Uh, if somebody's moving around in the car and they want it dark or maybe they wait till a dark place to stop, it, it kind of makes me uneasy when I'm walking up. Well, we'll go ahead and get out right now and tell you a little bit more about what it takes. There are going to be two informational sessions at the Reynolds Fire Department at noon over the next two Saturdays if you are interested in learning more about what it takes to become a Highway Patrol Trooper. They are hiring 25 positions across Western North Carolina due to some retirements and a, and a few years of, uh, of hiring freezes. So if you're interested in that, please look, check out those information sessions. It's a great career starting out at about $34,000 just to get trained. For now, reporting live from outside the Western Justice Academy, I'm Evan Donovan, News 13.